welcome to Preschool Storytime with Librarian Jeannie. That's me, Librarian Jeannie. So let's sing our hello song. And parents and adults, remember to sing along with your children and help them get the tune and the words. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? I'm pretty good, but let's do it one more time. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? That was great. Now, I have my little red house. See it? Do you have red on today? I don't. In the little red house, there is a little yellow house. I don't have yellow on either. Do you? In the little yellow house, there is a little green house. Now, I don't have green on, but behind me, you can see the green shrubs and trees. And in the little green house, there is a little blue house. I don't have blue on either. I don't have very many, I don't have any colors on, on today, any pretty colors anyway. And in the little blue house, there is a little pink house. Do you have pink on? And in the little pink house, there's a little gray house. Now, you know, my shirt is a dark gray. And in the little gray house, there is a little purple house. Do you have purple on? Mm, not me. And in the little purple house, there is a little orange house. That's a seasonal color, isn't it? Do you have orange on? And in the little orange house, there is a little white house. What do you think might be in our little white house today? Hmm. As I recall, there was a pumpkin in there last week. Do you think it's still there? Let's see. Oh, no, no pumpkin today, but two pretty fall leaves. There they are. Okay. So for the adults out there, our common core standards today are just, you know, the everyday enjoying books. Our first book is a, fu a funny book about family. There's another standard that we like, a goal to learn about families and how they work. And our second book is a book of funny poems about chickens. I brought my friend chicken here to represent that. We'll see chicken later. So our first book is He Came with the Couch. There he is by David Slonim, published by Chronicle Books and used with their permission. He Came with the Couch by David Slonim. Oh, look at that couch. Mm. Our family needed a new couch. We looked and looked. It's like they went all sorts of places. They didn't like that one though. But we couldn't find a couch we liked. Hmm. By nighttime, all we had found was a tin horn for me and a squeaky bone for Roscoe. I think Roscoe's the dog. 
Then Dad suddenly hit the brakes. Aha, he cried. Where are they? They're at Larry's 24 hour rummage. Oh, and look, there's a couch. Soon, we were heading home with our brand new couch. Who is that back there? I asked. I don't know, said Dad. He came with the couch. The next morning, he was still there. So I gave him some toast and let him play with Bonnie. There's the toast and that must be Bonnie. I'm Sophie, I told him. Who are you? He didn't answer. Can we keep him, I asked? No, said dad. Mom and Dad tried to persuade him to leave, but he didn't budge. Maybe he's sick, I said. So they called the doctor. It's an acute case of apolsterosis, said the doctor. He needs to get out more. So, we took him to, Grand, to the Grand Canyon. There he is, at the Grand Canyon. We took him to the beach. took him to Washington, D.C., but he never left the couch. Mom and Dad said we just have to get used to him. Great, I said. Then one day, a branch snapped. And I fell out of my tree. Help! I screamed. There was a sudden crash. He saved me. That's why we all so glad that he came with the couch. But it wasn't long before we were off to another rummage sale. Hmm. She came with the chair. The end. Now, what do you think about that family? Think about it while we do this rhyme. Some families are large. Some families are small. But I love my family best of all. I bet you love your family best of all too. Now, what do you think about that family? Were they a small family or a large family? I think they had two parents and one child who told the story and a dog. 
But then they came, two other family members came with the couch and the chair. So their family got larger. That's not the way families usually get larger, but it worked for them. So let's do that rhyme one more time. Some families are large. Some families are small. But I love my family best of all. Now, I told you that the next book had chickens in it. And it's actually part of the title. It's called Chicken Scratches, Poultry Poetry, and Rooster Rhymes by George Shannon and Lynn Brunell, illustrated by Scott Menchin, published by Chronicle Books and used with their permission. You know, it's chicken scratches, poultry. That's another word for chickens and ducks and geese, all those little animals that we find that we call sort of barnyard animals. And rooster rhymes, roosters, are the males, the boys of the chicken family. So let's see, here's my chicken. Let's see what the poetry is about. Chicken scratches, poultry poetry and rooster rhymes. Ballet, ole. A chicken named Millicent Smites loved to twirl and leap to new heights till one night on her toes she danced with a rose. As she danced with a rose, she laid a fresh egg in her tights. First steps. Chicky step. Chicky boom. Chicky step, chicky boom. Chicky chicky step step. Chicky chicky boom. Chicky chicky step step. Teeter boom. Chicky chicky step step step. Then boom. Chicky chicky step 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 step. Chicky, 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 boom, zoom, zoom, zoom. Is that how you learned how to walk? I think some people have trouble walking and then they fall down and then they learn and they step up again, just like that chicky. Grouch. There was a special chicken, though she was quite a grouch. She laid square eggs and talked a lot, but all she said was, Ouch! Have you ever seen a square egg? Neither have I. Sick day. The day the rooster had the flu, he could not cock-a-doodle-doo. He could not walk. He could not talk. No one was sure just what to do. They called the doctor to the coop who brought a bowl of chicken soup. Drink up, he said. It's good for you. I promise. It is no one that you knew. Halloween, that's coming up. Not last night, but the night before, three little chicks came peeping at my door. One was a deviled egg, two were sweets. And all three yelled out, Trick or treat. Hula Zelda. Hula Zelda was a dancer. Brother, could she shimmy. Up and down and she'd twist around and wiggle every limmy. Can you dance like that? She put the wow in luau as she hula'd through each night. And when she clucked aloha, roosters crowed in delight. She loved the island ribbons so much it sometimes hurt, cause every egg that Zelda laid came
came wearing a grass skirt. In concert. Hildegard, my chicken pal, sang as sweet as a root canal. Now she's hit the opera stage. Her shocking sounds are all the rage. We sing her praises every day, as long as she sings far away. Make a wish. You think a wishbone is lucky? Just make a wish and snap it. My wishbone's lucky, tucked inside where nobody can crack it. Miss Match. I'm sure you've heard the many facts that make a chicken rare. It has two drumsticks and a comb, yet neither drum nor hair. It even has a belly But there is no button there. Look at that math problem. Pocket money. Henny, penny, penny pitcher kept a penny in her purse. But when she took her penny out, her day turned bad, then worse. Someone pinched her, then her penny, laughed and ran away. Stop, she clucked. That penny saved until a rainy day. She ran to catch the pinching thief and whacked him with her purse. Then good old Henny Penny pinched her penny in reverse. Tug of worm. One worm, two chicks. Worm one, fiddlesticks. Watch what you eat. A chicken ate a pack of seeds before she read the label. Next day, she laid a cantaloupe upon the breakfast table. Could that happen? Mm, I don't think so. Time traveler. We chickens are a time trip. We're visions from the past. We're living, breathing relatives of creatures long, long past. My feathers, wings, and scaly feet have ancient tales to tell of Stegosaurus, Allosaurus. Locked inside each cell. See? See the Archaeopteryx emerging as I soar? Listen to my cluck and hear Tyrannosaurus roar. Supersaurus, Hadrosaur, Agilosaurus II, Velociraptor, Troodon, the whole Jurassic crew. All that dino DNA lives in my family tree. Want to see a dinosaur? Just look at me. Do you see a dinosaur in this chicken? Hmm, maybe. Yummy in my tummy, bugs. Sing a song of tasty bugs, snacks to crunch and munch. Crispy and roly poly bugs to scratch up for my lunch. Sing a song of slimy slugs, treats to chomp and chew. Sweet and slinky shrinky slugs to snap and slurp their goo. Champion. Chicky Teriyaki, a sumo superstar, tossed his weight around the ring and bumped opponents far. His shape was very ovular, shaped like an oval. His wrestling suit was small. So when he bowed to start a match, fans nearly saw it all. Recess. There are chickens on the playground, but none are satisfied. They must keep running back and forth to reach 
the other slide. Do you know that joke, why the chicken crossed the road? Well, now maybe you know to get to the other slide. And that's the end of our chicken scratches for today. And that's our last book. So let's sing our goodbye song, If You're Happy and You Know It. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. Goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. Goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. Goodbye. And if you're happy and you know it, and you want to find more story times on from the Santa Cruz Public Libraries, try out Tales to Tales on Mondays at 3.30, where you can sign up to read to a dog, or Storytime with Mel on Friday mornings at 10, where, you, again, you have to sign up because that's a live on Zoom story time. And then there's on Wednesday evenings at seven o'clock, there's bedtime stories with Jackie, Librarian Jackie, and Tell Me a Story with Librarian Jeannie on alternating weeks. You can find out more about all these programs and more at www.santacruzpl.org. Bye-bye, everyone. See you next week.